Hello, this is a quick demo about uh, HP Virtual Connect uh, working with Cisco uh, Catholics or Nexus uh, PVDM feature along with the VMware distrib uh, distributed virtual switch uh, PVDM feature. Uh, we know uh, without Virtual Connect, you can direct a Connect uh, uh, VMware host running VDS along with uh, Cisco doing the PVLAN. So the concern over here and the proof of point is trying to see if Virtual Connect in the middle can work together. So Virtual Connect doesn't really have the uh, primary promiscuous, you know, isolated community concept. So, but there's a unique feature in the Virtual Connect. It's called a Tunnel VNet. Uh, so, uh, VNet is more like an internal VLAN. So there's a tunnel mode for you can configure the VNet. Actually, through the testing. You can see it work work very well with the Cisco and uh, VMware, and basically, essential tunnel VNet will pass through all the traffic from Cisco Nexus and um, to the VMware and back and forth. So all the PV uh, PVLAN concept, like the uh, community isolated uh, and promiscuous or primary VLAN will sit on the either on the VMware or on the Cisco side. So pretty much Virtual Connect will just make sure we can pass the traffic back and forth correctly. So that's you know um, pretty much by using this tunnel VNet, you can use the other great features about the Virtual Connect along with the customer requirement about the PVLAN. So this is our topology. Topology we have a two five case at the top of the rack and you know the two enclosures. Enclosure one has a two host. Enclosure two has a the third host. And we have the promiscuous port connecting to the common default gateway. And uh, I have some VM running. You can see the color. So pretty much my primary promiscuous VLAN will be the VLAN four hundred. It's uh, showing as green. So anything green is the common VM or common gateway. Other VM should be able to access, and the uh, isolated VLAN will be VLAN 401, which is red. The purple or VLAN will be the community VLAN, so 402. So I have some VM running. So on the host, I have the VM1, VM2. VM1 is isolated. VM2 is in community. The same thing for uh, host 2. And on the host 2, we have VM10. It's more like a common virtual firewall or virtual service, you know, VM, the other VM needs to get access. Uh, the same thing for host 3, we have 5, 6, and 11. So by looking at the color, you can see, you know, which VM is, is uh, doing, uh, requiring which kind of function. So um, let's take a look at the configuration. I'll first uh, show you the configuration on the 5K and VMware, just to show is a common uh, 5K and VMware configuration for the PVLAN, and then I will show you the virtual connect. Okay, so and later we'll do some pin testing to make sure all the VM their security requirement is you know uh, is uh, right uh, according to the design. Okay. So let's hop on the 5K. This is a 5K one. This is a 5K two. We mainly really want to focus on the uh, one host. You know, host one. You know, VM one, VM two later on. When we are doing the pin test, because you know, you know the other VMs just have the same security policy. Okay, so let's take a look at the 5K one. If you do the show LDP neighbor, you will see I have the uh, VPC neighbor with the 5K two across two ports, so two port, uh, one port channel, and this is the this is the link uh, going to the first enclosure. Okay, so on the 5K one is a uh, Ethernet three. And what three and on the virtual connect side it will be the X one. So let's take a look at uh, the uh, show run phase one three. So you can see it's a regular port, uh, regular trunk port. Uh, you can see I haven't configured the BPDU guard and the STP edge. So you know usually for best practice you should do that, but in this case I'm kind of focused on the private VLAN feature, so I didn't config those two lines. So uh, let's do the show um, VLAN private VLAN. So pretty much you can see my 400 is my primary and 401 is isolated. Community is a 402. The same setup is on the 5K2. Okay, so let's do the 5K2. Uh, show LDP.